what is up everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here thanks for tuning in we are back as you guys can guess back working on the house um still plugging away getting stuff done um, if you didn't see the last video it was a very very long video i think it was like 40 minutes or something uh, longest video i've put out in a long time uh got a ton of work done in it um got all these ceilings opened up and we got the laundry room opened up um, I'm trying to make this video shorter, so I'm going to try not to talk nearly as much as I did in the last one. Um, so let me show you guys the progress that has been made from the last video. Um, give you a brief overview of what we're getting started on now, then I'm going to get to work. Alrighty, so coming in here to the laundry room, you guys can see we now have new flooring in here. Used to be a big old rotten spot in the floor over there, and overall the floor just wasn't in very good shape. Um, it was like half inch plywood, maybe less. Um, so now we got full three quarter inch plywood all the way across. Replaced some of the floor joists underneath it, or the yeah floor joists underneath it. The floor is good and solid, um, looking much better and feeling much better. So floor is all new. I also left off saying that we still had seen some rafters that needed to get replaced. They were old rotten ones. So as you guys can see, got the new rafters in place. It wasn't too many of them, but it's a tight fit with the roof being on. It's a lot harder to replace the rafters, but we got those in, whether they're scabbed on like this one or brand new rafters entirely. Um, looking good, much more solid. Don't have to worry about that rod anymore. Um, so... So with that stuff being done, this room is basically done and demoed and ready to go back together. Um, last thing I kind of need to do, which is part of it going back together, is uh, figuring out this window, either boarding it up or putting plywood over the top of it so that it's one level surface for drywall to be going back on. Um, drywall is not happening too soon, but same thing got to do over here. Um, just give drywall a good level surface to go on. Um, and then we're going to be do newing, doing new lighting and electrical in this room, uh, but that'll be in the next phase. So that leaves one more room that is left to be demoed in the house or on the main floor, and that is the kitchen. The room that I have been least looking forward to demoing because I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to make the kitchen work and be usable while I'm tearing it apart. Uh, but we're going to figure it out. This is the last room on the main floor that needs to get demoed uh, before I can start putting things back together, running new wiring from the panel through the ceilings. Um, this is the last major milestone before things start really going back together. So one thing that I really want to do is there is a big wall here separating the dining room and the living room over there and i want this wall gone looking at it from the other side there used to be an archway and half wall right here separating the dining room and the living room um, that wall was easy to take out not a load bearing wall basically just pulled it down good to go this wall if you guys know construction you'll see that all of the upper floor joists are resting on this wall. This is a load bearing wall, which makes it much more of a challenging process. I'm going to have to do the proper engineering or have some, well, I'm going to have to have somebody do the proper engineering so I know how big of a beam to span this gap. All in all, by the time I spread it out how I want it to be, it's going to be around a 12 or 13 foot archway, um, I think when all is said and done, which is big, but not too huge. Um, but having this wall gone will completely open up the kitchen to be able to see all the way to the other end of the house, which will be really, really nice. Um, so kind of my first steps is I think I'm going to be finishing opening up this wall or at least this section from here over into the kitchen. Uh, there's an old pocket door in here that I'm going to have to frame back into a standard wall. That shouldn't be too hard. Uh, but for now, it is time to start tearing things apart. So, like I said, I'm going to try to keep the talking in this video to a minimum. I don't know how much I'm going to get done because I want to get this video out for you guys as soon as possible. Um, not have a 40 minute video. Try to keep the videos more frequent, closer to 10 minutes or so. So I'm going to get to work, take you guys along. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys do, hit a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. 
Let's get to work. guys i think we're at a pretty good stopping point for this video like i said i'm trying to keep the videos a little shorter and get them out more frequently to you guys so let me show you guys where we finished off for today's video as you can see the wall is completely opened up and i gotta tell you it makes a huge difference and i'll just kind of back up for you guys so you can get a better view of it there you go you can kind of see it once that wall's down it is going to make a big big difference on how open the space looks even just having the wall opened up uh, is making it feel bigger in here so actually having that removed 
should be pretty darn nice. Give you a look from in here. Kind of see once we get that down, you're going to be able to see all the way into the back of the living room from the kitchen. Basically be able to see all the way across the entire main floor from in here. So as much as I would love to just rip this down and have it be open and call it good, like I told you guys in the beginning of the video, all of these floor joists are sitting on top of that wall and it is holding them up. It is a load bearing wall. Um, so we're going to be bringing in an engineer, got an engineer contact that we'll bring in and he'll be able to tell us basically how big of a beam we need. The goal is to actually bring this doorway in to about here so it's in line with the hallway and then we're also going to cut it right there at the side of that doorway. So that measurement is about 14 feet, 13 or 14 feet. Um, so I mean, when you think about it, it's about the size of the header for a garage door. So it's nothing unheard of, but it does need to be um, a substantial beam and I wanna make sure it's done right. So it's gonna be a little bit before we can get the engineer in, probably another week or two. Um, hopefully we can get him in in that time frame. Then he can run the numbers through his program, tell us how big of a beam we're gonna actually need. And then whether it's a steel beam or wood beam, figure out how to order it and get it in. Um, and then we'll be doing the process or I'll film the process of us actually putting it in. Um, it shouldn't be too complicated. Um, like I was telling you guys, if you've never done or seen anything like this, uh, what you're gonna end up doing is we'll build a false wall right, right around in here and then we'll build another false wall on the other side. And that's gonna hold up the house on each side of this wall. And that allows us to take this wall out put the new beam in and then once that's good and solid and in place then we can remove the two false walls that we built on either side. So it's a little bit of work but it's not all that complicated uh, but it's one of those things that I want to absolutely make sure that it's going to get done right. Um, so that's where we're going to end on this video. Um, until we get that engineer in and get that video filmed it's probably going to be a mixture of miscellaneous things going on around here. Um, right now, I'm leaning towards not demoing the kitchen until this winter. Um, it's really nice weather outside, and in Oregon, we only get really nice weather for half the year, um, or less than half the year, really. So I want to take advantage of the best weather that we can and get some projects done inside and outside. Um, so kitchen demo might wait till winter, but this room I want to get buttoned up, and the dining room I want to get buttoned up. So probably open up the ceiling in the kitchen. That'll allow us to run wiring into these two rooms. And then once the wiring is in, drywall or insulation drywall, these two rooms should be done and buttoned up in the near future. But until we're waiting to get this wall down, or I guess we need to do this wall and get this wall down uh, before drywall goes in. So it's a whole bunch of different steps of trying to get things done and do things in the right order. And it's a lot to try to keep track of. But for now, we're waiting on the engineer. You're probably gonna see in the next video or two uh, miscellaneous things, getting things done, and just getting little miscellaneous things checked off the list uh, to keep progress moving, whether it's inside or outside. Um, just gonna be working on whatever needs to get work done. So if you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I always appreciate your guys' inputs um, or just support or whatever. Um, of course, you guys commenting on the video, giving it a thumbs up and sharing the video makes a huge difference on how much YouTube actually shares the channel with other people that may be interested in this type of content as well. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the process of seeing this house transform. Um, it's definitely come a very, very long way since I bought the place. Um, and I'm excited to see it start going back together. So as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.